You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. Hi, I'm Holly Dixon, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent, and I'm standing in the middle of what will soon be the Backyard Family Garden at the Ag Research Center here in Hayes. And this is going to be a demonstration garden where you can come out and take a look at what's growing. We're going to demonstrate things that should do well here in the area. We also have a compost area where you can see how composting can take place at your home. We'll have an informational sign up describing that. And so this is going to be a nice little area for me to do some demonstrations as well. And one of the things I wanted to talk about this time of year. Um, you know, we've had some fluctuations in the weather. It's been warm, it's been cold, it's been warm, it's been cold, and people are anxious to get out and start doing things in their garden. And one of the things that I always recommend is that if you have a garden and you haven't soil tested for a while, that's probably a good idea to have that done. Um, soil testing is a relatively simple thing. In a garden situation like this, where we have you know, a small area, you'd want to take several random samples throughout the area. And by samples, I mean um, just to take a soil probe like this and just go down about six to eight inches and get a sample from that soil. Go ahead and knock that into a bucket. And then go ahead and take several random samples throughout the entire area. Now, if you don't have a soil probe, don't worry. Um, you can borrow one from the, from the extension office in Hayes. We have an extra one for you to check out and borrow. Or you can simply use a trowel or a sharpshooter or shovel or whatever you have at home. But when you use a trowel or a sharpshooter, you want to go ahead and dig a hole about six to eight inches deep. And then what we're going for when you take a good soil sample is to take a slice of soil off the side of that hole about an inch thick. So this isn't the best example here, but you get the idea. You just want to take a slice so you get a nice profile of that soil. Um, and then go ahead and just dump it into the bucket. Random samples, like I said, that way you get a good representation of soil all over the area you are trying to test. Once you have all of your samples collected, go ahead and mix them all up and that bucket or whatever you're putting the soil samples into and then to have a soil test conducted all we really need is about a quart or a little even less than that to be brought into the extension office after we get the soil from you we'll have you fill out some paperwork we then send your soil sample into the k-state soil testing lab where they will analyze it for things like ph organic matter nitrate nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium when we're talking a garden soil sample. Um, I'll show you when you get the results back. Actually, the results will come back to your local extension office and they will simply look like this. Um, this way, it gives you an idea of where your levels are as far as that pH goes, your phosphorus, your potassium. And a lot of times the soil samples that I receive back or the results I receive back in the office look exactly like this one. Phosphorus and potassium are very high. Um, the pH is high because we have alkaline soil. So that tells you that no phosphorus is needed. And um, you know that can save you money, it can save you time as far as fertilizing. If you know what you're starting with, then you know exactly what you need to add or in a lot of cases not add to your garden to help it be successful for that year. Like I said, I will receive these results back in the office. I will analyze them a little bit more and then I'll make some recommendations and then send them via email most likely back to you. Or if you don't have an email address, we can always mail it to you in the mail. But either way, a garden soil test costs $20 in Ellis County. That cost probably varies a little bit from county to county, but in our county it's $20 for a basic garden test and that does include your shipping and all of that. So not a lot of expense for some good information that can help you in your gardening success. One other thing, soil testing, you don't have to do it every year. The recommendation is that you should soil test about every three to five years. So you can kind of get a general idea of what's going on with your soil. And if you do make some changes and you continue to add organic matter, fertilize year after year, it is a good idea to go back three to five years later and just see how things have changed. And you might be surprised and um, hopefully your garden will be doing a little bit better too. One final thing I'll mention is if you are getting ready to get started or um, 
you know, maybe you've never gardened before and you want to start a garden. This is a really nice garden guide that K-State Research and Extension has. It's about 86 pages. We sell the hard copies at the office for $6 a piece, or you can find it online for free. Just Google Kansas Garden Guide, or you can go to our Extension website. If you have questions about gardening or about soil testing, which I just, just described, contact your local Extension office for more information. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television.